Hey everybody, this is Nick Romick uh, with RetroPixel Digital, and I just wanted to go through uh, my process of uh, creating rigs using an FBX bone structure coming out of MVN Animate that can be used in Unreal for quick and easy importing of FBX animation data. Hope that makes sense. So. Uh, it just makes it really, really quickly. I've been messing around with uh, Master Chief from uh, Halo in the Darth Vader versus Master Chief um, film that we're making. So I just kind of was going to use that as a uh, test here and, and, and a demonstration. So I'll show you the way that has saved me so much time. If you've got MV and Animate, you use the Xsense uh, suit and you have some... Um, rigging knowledge, it's not even that much. Uh, Maya knowledge will be needed and we're using Unreal Engine, of course. So um, what I'll do is I'll just start out here with MV and Animate. So uh, that's not MV and Animate. Here it is. Okay, so I've loaded here a an MVN Animate file and that MVN Animate file is, uh, is just, it's just me. Just messing around. My foot's a little messed up just because I didn't calibrate it properly after I removed my shoe and put it back on. So that's a little off. Um, but for the purposes of exporting the uh, the data here um, and using that, that's not an issue. It's when you're exporting your animation that you're going to use. That's when you want to make sure that's all calibrated properly and processed. But just for this purpose, don't even bother with uh, reprocessing. Um, for the rig because we're just going to export this file here um, so I would export that um, you can even go and you can only f you can just go with the first frame just select frame one file export selection and you throw that right on your desktop and now it's going to call it test now FBX uh, and I don't care if it's uh, processed now uh, I'm going to grab I'm going to open up the Maya here. Uh, so this is the, the 3D mesh. Uh, there's no bones or anything like that. Uh, what I've done is I've separated into two layers. Uh, one of them is the armor, which is the hard parts, and one of them is the tech suit, which is the soft parts. Because of the fact that when we do the rigging, we want the body itself underneath the armor to move and bend like a human body would. Uh, but we don't want the armor to do that as well because it's hard parts. So I'm going to show you a quick way to do it hopefully you have some rigging knowledge because I'm gonna blast through this okay so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn the armor uh, off and those are all separate parts and I'm gonna import uh, I'm actually gonna import a different file here so um, let's take a look here so beyond oh, that's not it okay so uh, I'm just gonna go directly over to the back up master chief and I'm gonna go into any of these ones here. We could just use any of us. I'm just gonna use MT turnaround FBX. Um or the test. So I'm gonna import that. Just gonna pull that in. Uh if you import the or if you export the one frame, uh, I'm just using a different version. So um so there's there's a root so i updated my mvn and there's an extra root the root is a little bit different on those ones so for the purpose of this i'm going to use the old stuff that i used with the export the exported data because i'm not actually going to be using this one I've, I've got one i've spent more time on so uh normally i just import that one frame that'll make it easier because then you won't have to do all this so the first thing you want to do is grab the uh the reference um, and then you want to go select hierarchy that's going to select every single one of the bones underneath there and then you see this you're going to double click but you want to make sure you're on frame zero because you see all that animation you want to go back here to frame zero double click right click and delete and that'll take a second it won't take as long with the one frame in fact you might just have the t-pose by itself but you need that t-pose and the t-pose is at frame zero so now that you've got nothing it should move oh that's good it's actually good okay so now that we've got this guy, uh, we're going to want to not move 
but we're gonna we're actually gonna make sure that we have this here this on the bottom right hand corner this is uh, auto keyframe toggle make that make sure that is on because everything that we do is going to keyframe so I'm going to turn both of these on here and then we're going to use the orthographic view to kind of go through and make the uh, bones just work with the body so this will probably be rotated so just line that up so they're in there and they're centered that's really your trick so okay a little bit a bit more there doesn't have to be perfect but the more time you spend on this getting everything perfect um the better of a, of a result you're gonna get of course oops okay and then we got that some of the bones are a little longer um that will become an issue and i'll show you how to fix it so got that rotate that so like see like things like this like i can rotate that but that's uh a little bit longer so you're gonna physically move that there you can move it into there i know it causes a little bit of an issue with the rigging generally but uh, in this case it's not so bad and then we'll just do a little bit more of that. This guy's going to have to move a little closer to that. And then rotate. So yeah, that's pretty much what you're doing. It's just kind of making sure everything lines up nicely. Now the hands and the fingers are a pain in the butt. I hate doing that. And that's only you'll ever, if you ever see some of my test rigs, their hands never work. And it's because of that particular issue. I do not like spending all my time on that but um, when you're when you're doing a final production one you spend as much time as you can on it because that'll make it look good I don't know what I do with those okay so there you go so you got all that stuff in there uh, I'm gonna skip some of the I'm gonna skip the finger stuff because I really don't want to deal with it um, just because it's gonna take too long but you can go in there and you just make sure all the fingers are in there and hands and everything like that uh, so the next step is to uh, turn these back on and we're gonna turn the armor off completely I'm gonna select that guy I'm gonna select that guy and I'm gonna make sure I'm in the rigging here and then we're gonna go to skin and we're gonna do bind skin so that's gonna make minus the hands everything else should be fairly okay um, now you're gonna want to go through and spend time painting weights because things like this if you see the deformation in there, eh, it looks okay, but uh, it could be better. It just depends on when you where you put the bones and things to you. So if I do that, see so on test your rig, maybe animate it a couple frames and see what uh, what everything looks like. But you notice that it does move. Like some see some of these things here, you're gonna want to paint the weights there. Not like you're gonna see a lot, but uh, under the armor. But just like I said, the more you get it. Uh, fine tune the better it's going to look. Uh, the next step is to grab the armor. I'm going to select all the objects in here and I'm going to bind them to the base skull or skeleton. And I'm going to go skin bind as well. Now, normally what I would do is just kind of parent the hard armor to bones, but that does not translate well when you're exporting FBX and then you're importing into Unreal. Just suddenly all of your armor is missing. So if that, that's going to be an issue there. So um, so now that what we're going to see is when I do this, actually that's not a good one here, around the head is the best way. So look, see now we've got that bone is influencing, it's bending the helmet like it's rubber and it's pulling stuff like that up. So that's what we do not want. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to select each one of these bits of armor and we're going to say, okay, well this one here we want 100% um, uh, this bone here to influence it 100%. So grab this bone, whatever's closest and centered is the best. So we got spine two. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna go to click, uh, click on skin, and then paint weights or skin weights. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna find spine two, and we're gonna do. See how it's gray? That means there's different levels of influence, which we do not want because that bends things. So we're gonna go here and make sure the opacity is one, and we're gonna hit flood. That's gonna turn it white which by default is going to make that bone have 100% influence on that armor. And then you're going to see 
uh, like when things move, like let's say his neck does it again. There, there's zero, zero movement on this here. And you're gonna go through each and every one of these. So you're gonna go like this. We've got the neck. The neck is going to, well, this probably should be the head. The head here is gonna have the influence on that. That's gonna move it more. Um, so we're gonna do head. So we click on that and then we're gonna go into the skin and then paint weights. And then we're gonna find that head. Yeah, I said head, right? Okay, and then we'll do flood. So now that's white. And now you're gonna do the movement. Actually, let's see. Yeah, so now when you move that, I know I'm moving the neck and not the head, but the neck moves the head. So, but you notice that it's not bending like rubber anymore. So that's pretty much what you're gonna do. You're gonna go through each and every one of these things, make sure that each of these pieces here uh, goes here and then selects and, and we'll see, this is on, off a bit, but um, you get the idea. So go through there, get all of your armor, everything like that, keep them in this pose here. And then what we do is we file export. Um, we'll export all. Uh, make sure there's nothing else in the scene. Export that as an FBX. Um, and then it, you might have to go into your, uh, what is it, uh, Windows and Plugins. You might have to go in your Plugins. Is it Plugins in here? Anyway, you might have to go to your, uh, yeah, you might go into the pl Plugins and, and, and enable FBX export. Um, that might be an issue. Um, but Either way, so export that guy as an FBX, and then we'll go back into uh, here, into Unreal. And then I have a version of this that I've spent a little bit more time on, so I'm gonna add import, and I'm gonna import that there, and I'm gonna do the MC turnaround test. So that's gonna import that guy in here. And then these are things we're gonna need to know. Skeleton, none, because it's creating a skeleton. Force front axis, keep that checked and make sure that any FBX files that you import after have that on or you're going to end up looking like a Star Trek transporter malfunction. It's pretty scary. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. Um, we're going to do, this is an FBX for this. Why is this? Let me just take a look here. Sorry. That might be the wrong file. <laughs> import here so this is Darth oh no this is mocap sorry we need to import the DV um, so yeah we're gonna do Darth Vader oh yeah so we put that in master chief sorry about that MC here we go we got MC retarget so I renamed it as retarget um, and then we'll open that up and then now we're gonna do this stuff here. So no, we don't need uh, a skeleton. You notice that last time it was uh, it was um, not a selectable item because we didn't have a skeleton in there. So now this is it, import all. That's gonna bring in everything we need. And then once it's in, we're gonna have a character. It's a solid character though, so um, we're not gonna worry about that. So yeah, I mean, this, this is this, this is him. Um, I've already done um, some stuff here with the uh, the textures, the materials. I've brought them in, and uh, so so what I've done is I've reworked all those things. I'm just going to be putting the body and the tech suit and all that stuff on there and making them look good. In fact, I'll just move them over here so we have better view of how awesome he is. So um, this here is just a mesh. So. This is your base model. So anything that you export. So we did export that one earlier. Um, actually, we, we didn't really. So like, let's just say we do, we'll do our mocap session. And he disappeared. And then you're going to export uh, the, uh, export the file in FBX. And then we're just going to open this and we're going to import all those. And I'll show you how easy that can be. So now we're going to go into Dorothy Rose Mass Chief. And we're going to go on our mocap. And that's where we get to MC turnaround because turnaround is the action he's doing. And then I'm going to import that. It's going to come up with this dialog box and it's going to ask where, what skeleton. We're going to choose the MC target test or whatever you're going to name it. And then make sure again this front uh, X axis is on. And then you hit import all. That's going to bring in an animation sequence. And I'll keep both of them there so you can see the difference between the two because this guy's just a 
just a guy standing there. And then once we get this other one come in here, we're going to click and drag that and put it in there. Just make sure the materials are on there because they don't always come through. You're going to have to go into the actual asset and then um, assign those materials permanently, which I could do in three seconds, but I don't. All right, so here's our animation sequence. If you notice here on the in the uh, in the brackets, it says animation sequence. I can click and drag that in there. And again, he's missing some of the structure, so I'm going to put the body there. Um, and then you're going to notice if I hit play, um, wherever it is, there. You're going to notice this is your character right here, and this is your character that is moving around. So if you've noticed. It's super easy. I mean, I could have spent more time on it um, to get it to look a little bit better. Uh, but overall, there's animation. And it, anything you export from uh, MVN Animate is going to easily import on this. Now, if you notice, his arms are a little bit stretched out. Um, that's because it's uh, fixing. Like it's. Remember, we, we went in there and we, uh, we bound the target, uh, the... Um, we bound the skeleton to the mesh and we had to move those bones. Well, this is this is fixing that because the trend or the positional data is all in there. So what you'd have to do for that is you have to go into the test skeleton itself and you're going to make changes to the way his animation is here. And you're going to have to keyframe certain things like this is going to have to be keyframed. Oops, sorry, you guys didn't see any of that. Okay. So I've gone in here to the animation and I'm selecting these guys and um, you'll have to go to the beginning there and you have to key moving these parts in a bit uh, just to make them a little less elongated. And then when you uh, key that and apply that, it's going to be a little bit easier to look at. So I'll just grab these little joints here. This guy here is going to move. Maybe it's this one. But anyway, you get the you get the idea. You also want to go in here and fix these guys here. Um, move that in there and then key and apply, and then you'll you'll see a little bit of difference on that stuff. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. So hopefully you'll uh, this will help you guys out. If you have any questions or concerns or anything like that, go ahead and uh, just let me know. Just leave me a, uh, leave me messages, um, notes, and stuff like that, and then I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This is gonna be on YouTube, so just leave me a comment. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully. Um, anyway, well, you guys have a great day. And uh, thanks for tuning in.